put me in. I just sat there and waited my turn and, and just, uh, you know, I said, well, when I get in, I got to make something happen. Cliff, if he does that, you got to step up. Cliff Levingston would answer the call, sparking Chicago with his contagious intensity as the emotionally charged Bulls wheeled their way back into the game. Checked it emphatically by Levingston. The momentum had shifted. And now it's Mike Dunleavy burning a timeout. 8.42 left in the fourth. For nearly four quarters, the two teams had been locked in an epic showdown. And as the game hung in the balance, the role of hero had yet to be cast. Now, we're fine if we can communicate defensively down there on the corner series. He's got to watch Devon's reach and got to get off. In the game's final seconds, Vlade Divac would seemingly stumble into stardom. For the game winner, Divac fumbled it, recovered. Yes, and it counts! Divac's dramatic three-point play would give L.A. a two-point lead. Oh, no! 93! And Scotty Pippen a sixth foul. It was now Michael Jordan's turn to take center stage and to seek redemption. Almost like game one right down to the second. And the Bulls were unable to score in game one in the closing seconds to avoid defeat. And they're going to take it the end. They're going to take it to the end of, of the court all the way. They have no timeouts left. Full court press. Jordan against Byron Scott. Comes up shooting, got it. Tied with 3.4 left. The Bulls would share Jordan's redemption. When he shot, it was like, we're winning this. And you know, we went overtime, we're winning this. And there was no doubt about it. The Bulls had withstood the Lakers' charge. Oh, foul call Michael either. comes away with it. Cliff Levingston took the charge, and there was no foul call. Paxson shot from the left is in. The Lakers had experience and the home court on their side. Michael spins out, but the Bulls had Michael Jordan. Is in a spectacular play by Jordan. This is a bitter loss for the Lakers because of and the series lead. Well, on that point, let's go downstairs. Mike Dunleavy, the Lakers coach, is breaking it down. Well, we're in a ditch, not in a hole. We're in a ditch. Supposedly, according to some of the coaches, they were out. They practiced for a solid hour and a half on the floor. We play them, we squeeze them a little bit, make them work extra hard. If things don't work out, communicate with each other out there on the floor. We'd have to be ready for the storm because uh, these, these guys are too good to be let off the hook. Lakers' storm was swift in coming. Here's Worthy. Yes. But the Bulls were prepared for its fury. For the Lakers, victory was essential. And their aggressiveness echoed the vital nature of their quest. Rebound AC again. Oh, is he playing his game today? Rebound. Stay after that ball. We got to stay with it. The Bulls were equally determined as they, too, fervently bang the boards. Rebound inside, though, by Livingston. Scores! And as they stepped up their intensity, the Lakers' storm began to ebb. Now with it, Craig Hodges driving into the front court. On ahead to Jordan, he scoops it up, Remy. Yeah. Takes him in the lane, fadeaway jumper. Bill, Bill Cartwright hits it. Go, go, go! Here goes Jordan. To Grant, back to Jordan, he takes the last shot of the half, and he hits it! Up by nine points at the half, the Bulls remain focused. If you get them down, you want to keep them down. Let's go get them, bro. Let's go. 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 We're not satisfied yet. Defense! The assault came quickly. Yeah! And from every conceivable angle, as Chicago's offensive barrage kept the Lakers at bay. John Paxson. 
Jackson has been a crusher. Magic. And though there was still some magic in the air as L.A. narrowed the gap. Important sequence for the Lakers. Magic. Yes. Johnson's bag of tricks could not prevent another bull run. Michael rebound, quick out of the pass down court. Michael to Pippa to jam! Stay on the birds of giving up, boys. Just keep right at it. They're having a hard time building the energy. All right. Have any. The attack was unrelenting. Again. And suddenly, Chicago was within one game of the NBA championship. You know, the thing about it is that I, I can't feel bad because they've just given us a nice butt kicking. With the title on the horizon, the Bulls were reflective. You know, you've, you've worked all this time uh, uh, to achieve the goal, and I think that when you first get in the league, uh, all your goals are more individual. Let's go, let's go. As you've been in the league a little longer, uh, you understand that the most important thing is the team. And, uh, and your credibility uh, is measured by your team's success. And uh, winning an NBA championship is obviously the ultimate. Let's go, let's go. That's what we work for all season long, guys. Let's take it home, it home. Ready? I got a lot of excitement inside of me. I, I guess I've been holding for about seven years now. I think uh, when I first came with the Bulls, it was a struggle. And we had to turn the whole situation around. Each year, we, we saw improvement. We saw the different levels that we had to get to. And now to this ultimate level. After 25 years. This is the game that Bulls fans have been looking for. Let's go, Bulls! Take it home! The Bulls with a chance to wrap up the world championship tonight. Good work, man. We've been waiting for this. That's good work, all right? Let's go. Put it in Even with James Worthy and Byron Scott sidelined, the Lakers quickly showed that they were not going to simply step aside for the Bulls' coronation. Here's Magic. He had a notion to go to the hoop. But as they had all series long, the Bulls were quick to respond. Devon with a bounce pass in Jordan. A steal, tight ropes the sideline, all the way to the hoop for the dunk. Even the fans here wanted that one. Lottie Devon in the face of John Paxson. The Lakers' frustration was clear as the Bulls began to pull away. Oh, what a shot by Bill Conroy. There's a steal. Michael on the breakaway, showtime! As he skies into the air, and here Jordan throws it down. You gotta make a play on the ball. You're getting a fair, you're getting a fair shake, just stay in here. You never know. Searching for an answer, L.A. looked to its young bench. pass underneath, now the gamble for the two-handed Foster jam. But the Bulls wouldn't even break stride. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. Come the balls on a three on two. Pippen off the hesitation dribble. A spectacular end to end move. With an intensity born of desperation, the Lakers would make one final run. But Chicago's confidence was unshakable. Tighten up. That's the term. Just tighten up a little bit. Not, all right? Not too hard. Loosen up. It was time for the Bulls to bring their 